place. That is true. We are back home inside Tropicana Field. Rich and O time now to welcome in Alex Cordry to the show. She is joined by a very special guest. Alex? I am. That's right, Rich. I am joined now by Sergeant Steve Gaskins of the Florida Highway Patrol. And Sergeant, just starting out, we want to talk to you, especially with the holiday weekend. Legally, what is drunk driving? Uh, well, again, another major holiday weekend coming up. Drunk driving is a problem for us all the time, especially during the holiday periods. Drunk driving, of course, when your normal faculties are impaired by drugs or alcohol, uh, you, you're not able to operate a car in a safe and efficient manner. And that's what we have our problems where people get hurt, injured, and killed. On a daily basis here in the United States, what are some of the results, the impact that you see from drunk driving crashes and incidents? Well, unfortunately, it's a situation that's plagued us for years, for decades. Um, you're looking at a statistic of every 51 minutes someone dying in a drunk driving crash uh, you know every couple of hours you're looking at someone being injured okay uh, every, two, every two minutes that goes by you're looking at someone getting injured run off the road by a drunk driver 51 minutes some, someone being killed in a crash a lot of people affected 10,000 people last year alone lost their life in a drunk driving crash and those are the kind of numbers that we're trying to get people to understand how serious it is to stop the behavior and of course help law enforcement report what you see in order to help that, what are some ways that people can combat uh, driving under the influence? Um, to avoid a drunk driving situation, plan your festivities at home. We can, of course, we have Memorial Day coming up this weekend, parties, people out enjoying the weather, out enjoying the sunshine here in Florida. Um, you know, people going to see their family and such. You know, don't get behind the wheel if you've been drinking. Don't let friends and family drive drunk. Uh, you know, party at home, party in places where you don't have to mix the drinking and the driving. Use ride sharing programs, designated driver, and a designated driver is not the one that drinks the least, it's the one that drinks nothing. So that's what we need to get people to understand to help us because it's a team effort with the society as a whole. Don't get behind the wheel, don't let people drink and drive. You bring up the holiday this weekend. What's your message, especially when it comes to Memorial Day weekend, for how people can help others to prevent more drunk driving crashes and incidents? Well, if you see a drunk driver, if you see one, someone who you believe is drinking and driving, report it to the police. 911, Star FHP, report it to the Highway Patrol statewide. Let us know so we can get a trooper there to intercept the problem. We want you to, a long story short, arrive alive. That's our, our motto this year. Uh, we're pushing that campaign. We want everyone to get home. Enjoy yourself. Go out there and have a good time. Enjoy Florida. That's what Florida's here is it's all about, getting people to come enjoy the situation here. But don't get yourself caught up in a DUI arrest or worse, someone injuring someone or killing somebody. Sergeant, we appreciate you coming out to the TROP. Thank you so much for your time. And everyone, be safe this weekend. Guys. Excellent message, Alex. And thank you to one of Florida's finest for joining us yes, sir. on Ray's Live, the pregame show. Time now.